press X for chromosomes with Yay. Fire Emblem, Rainy Dawn. Our goal is to cross the rip van. <laughs> he was like, what the fuck is that? It's not a name. It's not even a word. Yeah. The core of our forces will ford the river and attack the central army head on. That just looks like somebody hit their head into a uh, keyboard and went that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I have gotten some names from that. Just yeah, I, I have to. I went add some vowels yeah. in there. <laughs> take much. out a couple things. <laughs> cool. Done. Sometimes it's hard for me because I want the like sound of a certain name. I was like, I right. want this to sound a little bit more like flowy or something right, like yeah. that. So I have to like really think about that kind of stuff. I if I can't do something like that, I'll just stare at like some sort of like product and be like, all right, I'll take those two letters. Oh, I can do that, and then I'll be like, Tuk-tuk. I like that name. As you saw with me in like the Pokemon, because she got me Pokemon <laughs> for my birthday, yeah. and so she's like, and they they offered to catch a Pokemon for me because it's my favorite. They're either really good stats or shinies. I've, or I don't both. care. I, I don't remember which. I'm not competitive. I just want my pretty cute Pokemon. <laughs> but like, and so uh, she asked me what I wanted to name. I was like, oh. And so my method generally is fucking like, I'll like, like one of them uh, was just kind of like a play on words. And the other one was uh, I took different words or whatever and, and mash, them. mash them together pretty yeah. much because i was like okay that sounds nice i need you to text those to me by the way that I, way i can give them to my friend i'll definitely do that yeah but yeah and so it's like or i'll go onto a name generator <laughs> site and generate a name and change something in it yeah or whatever like kind of mix it up a little bit or mash yeah. two names together name generators are a blessing yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah blessing among man oh, yeah. like fucking sainthood yeah. <laughs> if you have a name generator oh there's one for locations i need to i'll link that to oh, you oh yeah oh yeah yeah, no, I think have this you? is, I know that site. Okay, yeah, it's okay, like yeah. blue and orange yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's, it has Helpful. freaking a billion things. It's, it's awesome. It's wonderful. It, yeah, it's godly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Randolph, you need to form a, you'll need to form a small unit of your best warriors and lead them behind the enemy lines undetected. Can you do it? Oh, this is where that one part you were telling me about yeah. happens. <laughs> yeah. No sweat. We'll do some officer hunting and keep their leader's attention on us. Lily, I can't ever shut up about this I game. love this game! <laughs> I love this we'll game. We'll be at work and then she'll just like start talking I'll about s- it for I nine like, years and so it's like I like I word vomit it because I just like, I love it so fucking much. I know it's such a good very game. loose plot of this yeah. game already so it's just kind of like yeah okay. I, there are some things I have been good about not yeah. saying but like still it's like oh this game is so <laughs> fucking good like it's just it's, it's stupid at parts but it's fucking good. Fire Emblem's just been good. Yeah. Good to me. At least, to be fair, I've only played these two and then Awakening. Because the other ones didn't really capture my attention. But I've heard Sacred Stones is good. Yeah. I, I tried playing Shadow Dragon. That didn't work out yeah, too well. I just, I, uh, heart, half of it's, I don't like the art style. My problem is, is I have anxiety attacks over the units dying permanently. That makes sense. Whereas, so, like, I grew up on this one. Yeah. And I, I was like, I was like, Oh, fine. If that's how we're fucking playing it, and I did it, or whatever. I think I first time you did play, I just listened to you. I was like, fine, fuck it. I don't give a shit. Yeah. But, like, otherwise, I have gotten decent enough where I don't have that issue too bad. Right. Except for some, like, freak moments. I'm like, oh, fucking come on. Like and, the or AI. AI. Stupid. AIs are the worst in yeah. this game. I remembered why. I was like, I always remember, like, picking a place and having them sit there. <laughs> And I was like, I don't know why he did that. And I was like, oh, yeah, now I know why he did yeah. that. Like, oh, fucking good. But a distraction alone will not get us across the river. They've got the terrain and Zelgus in their favor. Bah! Use fewer words, tiny viewer. Tell us what we must do. Some of us have a battle to fight. Don't interrupt me against <laughs> Grimir. All these words may be the only thing that possibly win this battle. Jesus, Soren. <laughs> As I was saying, while Ranulf and his men sow confusion in the rear ranks... A group of hawk legos will carry the Grail mercenaries south and around the battlefield. We'll cross the river and make our way to s- the supply train, which also serves as a senator's camp. Ah, oh, I see what you're doing. You're going to involve the senators and have them start messing things up. <laughs> Precisely. Zelgius is the military commander, but the senators have authority over him. If attacked, they will panic and request aid. They will be f- he will be forced to return and rescue them. Zelgius is a soldier through and through. He will not disobey an order, and no matter how foolish it may be. <laughs> Once he leaves, their front line will crumble. That's when you advance. Tibbarn and Skrimir will lead the charge. That's all. Is everyone clear on what they have to do? I still dislike Bjork tactics. I'd rather face my enemy and give him my name before I snap his neck in my jaws. But in order to defeat cowards, we must use the... Weapons of cowards. Let's go. 
Soren's like, hey, fuck him, I'm just keeping you alive, fucker. Yeah. <laughs> He's like flipping <laughs> Skrimir off behind his back. Yeah. <laughs> Actually like, quietly like putting yeah. his hand over his Here, sword's hand. Here's the fucking, like, the first taste of fucking, oh, tiny New York. Fucking don't interrupt me, fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> Does Skrimir still do that a lot? Uh, I think he, yeah, calls Soren pretty much tiny Bjork all the time. Yeah. God. Your strategist is something else. Does he have some kind of magic hat that he pulls <laughs> all of his crazy ideas out of? Well, I do pay him plenty for them. Soren said this mission would fail without help from the Phoenix army. We're asking you to take a very big risk, King Tidbarn. We can handle it. Oh, God, this is all me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> we can do anything if it involves teaching those vermin and Benyat a thing or two. Soren has even answered some of Skramir's more insane requests. He doesn't listen to a word I say, <laughs> but when Soren talks strategy, he's all ears. He's already developing a cute little crush on <laughs> yeah, Soren. Yeah. Is that why he hasn't been complaining during the briefings? He says he looks forward to what the little strategist will say next. It looks to me like Soren's charmed his way into the most powerful position in the army. I'm glad to hear it. He's changed, hasn't he? Yeah, I think so. He still doesn't say much, but he's a lot more at ease these days. He used to be completely closed off, rejecting anyone who tried to get close. And like, then I happened. <laughs> yeah, like he'd lock himself away, all alone in his own little world. We all lost against something during the Mad King's War. Maybe it wasn't complete waste after all. Do you think we'll feel the same way after this war when it's over? Who knows? We'll have to survive it first. Soren comes over. He's like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> Circle jerk. They yeah. all like walk away. <laughs> Fair enough. Yay, that Yay. was it. All right, time to save. Let's get on with it. Whoop. And boom. Leave. painted backdrops. <laughs> yeah, we have some different shit. <laughs> General Zilgius, the men that are in position. Hmm, good work. Hmm, it's becoming <laughs> foggy. Hmm, hmm. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the Hawk tribe has joined with the main force, but I'm sure this fog will end them. I wouldn't be too sure about that. The fog might actually be a boon to them. We'll wait and see what move they make. General, we hear splashing. The Lagoose Alliance is on the move. <laughs> I'm fucking meander into the cold water. The band's marching halfway across the river all day. There's no point in waiting. Oh well, <laughs> enemy spotted soon. Then it's time to fight. <laughs> you should go. <laughs> Don't remind me. I hate flying. Anyway, give the word, will you? No need. Our friends heard every word. Ugh, finally, it's time. I've had enough of sitting around. To wing, voice brothers. is familiar. Keep up with me if you can. <laughs> Look it up. It's Matt Mercer. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably actually laugh at that point and be like, really? Come on. <laughs> he was in something else, too. That I was like, I was like, this is from... Oh, man. <laughs> Awakening. No. I mean, yeah, but no, not. Oh. Something else other than that? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, they make it look pretty grand. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Lord, it's nothing. I'm needed elsewhere. <laughs> Keep them engaged until I return. Yes, sir. <laughs> My cats and senses are tingling. Yeah. <laughs> My planet needs me. <laughs> That's like his only purpose in this game. <laughs> Sorry to drop in unannounced. 
We thought it best to hunt the strongest prey first. Of course. Interesting maneuver. Will you draw your blade? I trust you know who you face. Zelgius, commander of this army. If you're not worthy of fighting me, then you are only wasting my time. I'm Ronald. He has a point. Right hand to Gallia's future king. Will that do? Can you talk in cat form? We shall see. I don't think so. I will accept your challenge. God, Ronald's huge. Yeah, the lagoos are big. Oh my god, I just want to pet him. I know, I want to write him. <laughs> As in, like, not dirty. You actually could, though. You're so I tiny. know. I want to, like, have to, like, just, go after, like, gift cut and just, like... I just want to, like, <laughs> to hug him and then, like, ride on his back. <laughs> like, I try to ride my fuck Or not ride. I try to hug my cat. Yeah. And, like, it's just he's small and my head will, like, break him. <laughs> if I, like, just lay it down on him. So it's like, oh. Yeah, Lamia is not much bigger than my head. Like, I can, like snuggle my head in between like her two paws yeah but oh my um squeaks the little tiny neighborhood cat yeah like her um back legs and front legs the space between them is like just as big as my palm oh uh, yeah like she is S tiny small cat. tiny yeah. tiny cat and then i'll come over here and be like your cats are fucking huge yeah my cat is big i've had historically kind of large cats <laughs> large male cats yeah and they're all very like laid back and like yeah whatever man just pet me i love you immediately and pierce is like get the fuck away from me <laughs> yeah my favorite thing about uh that cut scene is like well well look at how off our voices are <laughs> yeah, was, like, like ran up like scrimmier scrimmier and then ran up was like smooth suave voice yeah. or whatever and i give him a little shit voice randolph reminds me of reno he i've oh like character wise or yeah. like yeah I, like, kind of he's a little bit less reno's a little bit more antagonistic Reno's a little yeah. bit more anti-hero, whereas Randolph is like, like Randolph is like good guy Reno. Yeah, I mean to be to be fair, my only experience with Reno is Advent Children. Yeah, and they they actually comic relieved him up for that game. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Yeah, he's not yeah. as like he's a little bit, but he's not to that extreme. Ugh, sorry, I had to like <laughs> burp. I had yeah, not make a noise into the mic. <laughs> what is all the noise? And at this hour. Who are you? Veona. A battle has begun on the other <laughs> side of the woods near the river. <laughs> oh, God, my voice. Then tell Zelgius to wipe the sun of humans quickly. Out the subhumans quickly and quiet down. I cannot sleep with all this racket. Oh, poor baby. Don't you peasants know I need my beauty sleep? I should have you all flogged, you inconsiderate fools. Well, maybe if you were a nicer person. I fucking hate that guy. Rich a snob. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this fight. I agree. Thanks. It was it's just three of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Run, Soren. Let's get over the plan one more time. Ite. <laughs> Our objective is to destroy the enemy supplies. The senators store their food and personal effects in crates. If we burn those crates, the senators will likely pull the troops back to protect their own hides. So while the lagoons distract the enemy, we will force the gate open. Or we force the gate open, storm inside, and burn all the supplies. Exactly. Thanks for telling the player character what to do. Yeah, exactly. We can also set their houses loose, or their horses, like their houses. houses loose. <laughs> houses like freedom. They just like pull out the foundation, and the houses just go running. They're all like <laughs> standing on him. They're like, "That's what true freedom for houses <laughs> looks like." They're all like proud of themselves yeah. as they're like galloping off into the fucking sunset, just like really awkward, like pum 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 pum, because it's a fucking There's, like, cube. earthquakes everywhere, yeah. and everyone's like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> like, like Grant from like uh, Jurassic Park comes over and he's like, "Do you know what this is?" And they're like, "They're like what." The footprint of a house. It's just a <laughs> rectangle. <laughs> we can also set their horses loose. That should add to the confusion. Agreed. Also, please not. Or er, also, please try not to hurt the senators themselves. Harming them might cause us trouble later on, especially once the fighting is over. All right, we've got to finish before the fog burns off. Let's get this done. Attack! Yay! Wow. Well, I think we're gonna call that. All right. And we'll catch you guys next time on uh, Press X for Chromosomes, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. We talk about our cats for nine years. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> and then houses. God, I would love a cat that big, though. I, everybody. Well, get a fucking leopard then. <laughs> and have it eat your face off. 
Yeah, no. Yeah, I, there's I'm no cat. Domesticated cats. Yeah, like unfortunately, we don't have human cats. There is a cat in Norse mythology. They pulled um, Freya's cart. Mm-hmm. I always try calling them Norwegian cats. They're not, but they're fucking huge, and they're um, they're really protective and loyal. Yeah. Um, they're pretty much like the German shepherds of cats. Oh, nice. Essentially, so. But it's Get just that like, and sick it on my enemies. They're so big and fluffy, though. You would be choking on their hair. I would, yeah, I would be <laughs> choking just by coming in like a ninety foot radius <laughs> of them. They're so cool. I should see if I can find a picture of them and show probably it to actually, you. probably summer allergies are just I'm smelling them. Their fur is made around the globe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.